Hey, YouTubers. So, I'm in the garage again. You might say, Smoky Essie, why the hell are you in the garage again? What are you doing in the garage again? Do you have a pepper video right now? Not a pecker video, but a pepper video right now? Do you have a hot sauce review? No, I have something better, something much better. I have another dumb, 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 another pipe tobacco review. Yes, another pipe tobacco review. So you might say, well, Smoking Essie, you reviewed Sir Walter Raleigh. Are you going to be reviewing Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic? And the answer is no. Uh, hell no. The answer is I'll be reviewing something that I, I said I wasn't go going to be reviewing. This is something I reviewed a couple times on this channel, actually a few times on this channel. I reviewed it back in 2010. I reviewed it back in 2014. And I reviewed it back in 2019. It's a classic American blend. It's just like Granger, just like Velvet, just like Carter Hall, just like Sir Walter Raleigh. It's a classic, classic American pipe tobacco. Anyway, I'm talking about the notorious Captain Black. Yes, the notorious Captain Black white pouch. So, yeah, uh, I said I wouldn't review it. And the reason I said I wouldn't review it is because last time I smoked it, back in like 2020, 2021, it really, really, really bit the shit out of my tongue. It really irritated my tongue. So I'm really hoping this time it won't bite the shit out of my tongue. Captain Black is notorious for giving tongue bite, uh, but hopefully I will have a pretty good tolerance to the tongue bite. Now this is the white pouch they did have at the store, the store, not the whore, the store. They had um, gold, they had royal, they also had dark. So I figure uh, I'm going to review the Captain Black White. This cost me about $15, $15.50. So uh, yeah, it's uh, expensive. Uh, not as bad as Canada and Australia, though. I was looking at prices. I was like, holy shit. Uh, yeah, Canada and Australia is through the roof. Uh, like Canada, it's like $42. And like Australia, it's like, you know, $110. So uh, yeah, we pay out our ass in Massachusetts, you know, uh, not nearly as bad as Canada and Australia. So uh, anyway... So I have it in my pipe right here, my Master Beraldi. And uh, yeah, so enough dilly-dallying. We're going to be re-reviewing, re re yes, re-reviewing, if I can talk, Captain Black White Pouch. This is a classic American blend. Everyone, everyone who's a pipe smoker should have had this by now because it's a, a classic American blend. So anyway, here we go. Let's have a smell first. Let's have a smell it's just that classic, um, like, Captain Black smell. It's a classic, almost floral-type smell. Just beautiful, classic, you know, uh, typical, what you would think of, like, a pipe smoker smell. Uh, very, very, very floral. I will say this. Captain Black, while it smells good, does have a lot of additives added to it. It has a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of stuff added to it to, to make it smell good and make it uh, smell good, the aroma of it. So uh, while it is definitely good smelling, there's no de denying that it's good smelling, uh, it definitely has some crap added to it uh, that makes it uh, kind of bitey and kind of what people would describe as kind of dirty tasting. So uh, uh, because aromatics in general, I'm, no, I'm getting on a rant here, uh, but aromatics in general, you're smoking them for the people around you, uh, not for uh, your personal palate. On the other hand, non-aromatics or English tobaccos, uh, you're smoking for your own personal palate, uh, not other people around you. So uh, anyway, enough dilly dally. I'm at four minutes already. Let's fire this bad boy up. Uh, I can already taste it. Uh, I mean, just the charring light. Uh, just the charring light uh, is very, very, very potent. Uh, and if you're wondering, uh, you know, if you, you wonder what it smells like around me, uh, the smoke that, that dissipates into the atmosphere. Uh, you really can't smell your own secondhand smoke, so somebody would have to be around me to smell it for me, because as a smoker, you really can't smell your own secondhand smoke. Whew. 
Ooh. There we go. Yeah, it's mild. Very mild. Compared to the Sir Walter Raleigh, this is a lot more milder. Um, very smooth, very mild. Yeah, it has a very, very plain taste. It's kind of fluffy, the taste. When I say fluffy, I don't mean like a fucking marshmallow. I mean, it has a fluffy smoke taste. Yeah, no tongue bite yet, which is a good thing. Yeah, no tongue bite yet. Just tamp it down. Yeah, has that typical, you know, kind of aromatic-like taste. Let me just relight it. Yeah, it's very, very mild. So Walter Raleigh had more body to it. This has more of a throat hit. It's more of a throat hit than anything. Like when you take a drag and you, uh, you know, have it hit the back of your throat, you definitely feel it. It's a little gritty tasting. It's not dirty tasting. You can definitely tell there's something in it. I, I have read different studies, or not studies, not fucking studies, but I have read uh, different uh, like reviews that basically, you know, say Captain Black, I'm not trying to uh, like make fun of the company or like be a bitch or be a jerk or be a dick or be a dickhead and say like I'm trying to like, you know, expose the company, you know, or anything like that. But uh, I've read it has a lot of additives. And yes, there's just a car going by. So, Captain Black, it has some stuff added to it. I'll tell you this, definitely has glycol, propylene glycol, which is that uh, typical like, aromatic thing like McLennan's had, which is that propylene glycol. I'd say body-wise right now, it's probably about a mild to medium. It's a mild to medium right now. Um, I can actually smell a little bit of the smoke. I really can't smell that. Like, you really can't smell your own secondhand smoke. I'm sure the garage will smell wonderful afterwards. Um, yeah, it has that sweet taste. I can kind of taste the cavendish now. That, that Cavendish case. Now, I may review at some point the Captain Black Gold because I believe I reviewed that, I want to say back in 2014, maybe 2015, I reviewed the Captain Black Gold. So, if I like this, I might review the Captain Black Gold. It's a little expensive. Somebody just driving by. Sorry, somebody just driving by. Somebody was just on their phone driving by, which is not good because you're not supposed to be on your phone when you're driving. So, yeah, we have a hands-free law in Massachusetts. You're not supposed to be on your phone when you're driving. So, yeah. It is kind of juicy, though. One sec. It is very sugary. This has a pronounced like sugary flavor.
I can tell you this, it, it, it burns a lot quicker than Sir Walter Raleigh. Uh, Yeah, it burns a lot quicker, which is typical of aromatics. Most aromatics burn a lot quicker. It doesn't burn quite as quickly as uh, subtle if um, heavy English. Probably because it's wet. I mean, it's not wet, wet. It's not like somebody pissed in it, you know, but it's not like somebody took their peck around and pissed in it, you know, but it's definitely um, fairly wet. It's just one flavor. It is a little harsh in the throat, I will say that. It's not giving me tongue bite, which I'm glad about. I'm not sure if my tongue will be sore in the next day. I'll tell you guys later. It's not giving me tongue bite, but it is uh, definitely kind of rough on the, th the throat. It's kind of like they say, like smoking cheap pipe tobacco. Yeah, it's very, very mild. It's very mild. Almost no flavor. A little bit of a, like a hint of like a floral flavor. Like almost if you sprayed like air freshener. And obviously you don't be a wise ass. I didn't actually lick air freshener or spray air freshener to my mouth. You could equate smells and taste in your mind. Um, kind of like that typical, like almost like floral taste. Almost what I would describe as a bot botanic flavor, botanic flavor, so like a floral taste. It's not bad. I mean, believe me, car going by, or a truck going by. I've had worse. I've had a lot worse pipe tobacco in my day. Uh, I had one pipe tobacco called Danish Original Black Vanilla. That stuff is like smoking molten vanilla candy. This is kind of just plain. It's um, it's nothing exciting. I mean, I mean. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not, I'm not encouraging you to smoke. Obviously, that's against YouTube's rules. But I mean, uh, don't go. Don't get your hopes up. It's like, it's like comparing a very soft, like skim milk, to a very like thick, like chocolate milk. Like back in the day, years and years ago, if you follow my channel for a long time, and I mean a fucking long time, I reviewed the Boswell tobaccos. Those have more like a actual like fruit flavor to them. This actually, this actually reminds me, the more I smoke it, of hookah. That's what it actually reminds me of. It reminds me of when I used to smoke hookah. So... Just like that, like almost like a candy flavor. Car going by. Car going by. Yeah. Now that I'm at the, the halfway point in the bowl, it's sicky, sicky sweet. And I'm really hoping it's not going to give me tongue bite. It's sicky, sicky sweet. It reminds me of a cross between hookah and a really cheap gas station cigar. Reminds me of like, 
Yeah, it's, it is kind of harsh in the throat. That's where it reminds me of the hookah. And that's part of the reason I stopped smoking hookah was because the hookah kept giving me a scratchy throat. For people who are new, I haven't smoked hookah since 2012. I haven't smoked hookah in about 12 years, almost 12 years exactly. Oh, it's just sicky, sicky sweet. Sicky sweet. It's like candy. It's like melted candy. It's actually burning pretty long. I'm at 10 minutes already, so it's actually burning pretty long. Oh, notification on my phone. Oh, somebody's just walking their dog by. Sorry, one sec. It's sicky, sicky sweet. It's sicky sweet. So let's get to rating this tobacco. Body-wise, I'd say mild to medium at the most. Strength-wise, I'd say mild to medium. Mild to medium strength. I get a little bit of nicotine from this. Aroma, probably pleasant. Has a pleasant room note because that's what it's designed to do. Ret retrohaling, which is exhaling through your nose. Uh, pleasant. Very easy to retrohale. Um, overall rating, I'd say I'd probably give it like a six out of ten. I can tell you this right now, I much rather prefer Sir Walter Raleigh over this. You know, will I dump it? Will I trash it? No. I paid good money for it. But it's very, very, very sicky. I'm at the last third of the bowl. It's sicky, sicky sweet. Yeah, sick, sicky, sicky sweet. So don't expect much. It's just sicky, sicky sweet. Again, most people who are who are smoking this are smoking for the the room note and also are smoking to please other people. And also a lot of people who smoke this are newer pipe smokers. This is kind of a newbie, newbie tobacco. Yeah, it's nasty. Okay, have a nice day. Give it a six out of 10, nothing exciting, bye-bye.